their collider to open up a portal to communicate with extraterrestrial beings. Whoa. And one of them are the occupants from Three Atlas. It started as a rumor, a whisper coming from beneath the Swiss Alps. Inside the tunnels of CERN, the world's most powerful particle collider has done something no one thought possible. It made contact, not with another dimension, not with a new particle, but with something drifting through interstellar space, the mysterious object known as 3i Atlas. At first, scientists believed it was just another comet, an icy traveler passing through our solar system. But the latest data suggests otherwise, because after a routine energy calibration inside CERN's Large Hadron Collider, instruments began detecting a faint signal, a response, synchronized perfectly with 3i Atlas's electromagnetic pulse. And what that signal carried changed everything. CERN wasn't trying to talk to aliens. Its mission was to recreate the early conditions of the universe, smashing protons together at nearly the speed of light to study dark matter and quantum fields. But during one of the latest high-energy runs in September 2025, a new subprogram called Project AETHER was quietly testing how high-frequency magnetic fields interact with cosmic rays. That's when it happened. At 03, 14 UTC, detectors buried 100 meters below ground registered a foreign resonance, not from the collisions, but from outside the collider ring itself. The frequency matched something recorded weeks earlier by the James Webb Space Telescope, the same rhythmic pulse coming from 3i Atlas. Coincidence? No one at CERN thought so. Because when technicians replayed the resonance and amplified it, the frequency pattern wasn't noise, it was structured. A repeating modulation consistent with information. To understand why this shook the scientific community, we have to go back to what 3i Atlas actually is. It was discovered in July 2025 by NASA's Atlas Survey Telescope in Hawaii, the same system that once caught the infamous Taumuamua and Borisov. At first, it looked like another interstellar comet, but its behavior didn't match anything known to science. It glowed brighter the farther it got from the sun. Its tail pointed toward the sun instead of away and its light pulsed every 147 seconds, like a heartbeat. James Webb confirmed that the pulses weren't reflections, they were emissions. It was producing energy internally. And that same 147-second rhythm, the same cosmic heartbeat, is exactly what appeared inside CERN's collider chambers two months later. When the resonance first appeared, Researchers thought it was interference from solar wind. But the timing didn't fit. The signal arrived 12 minutes early relative to any solar particle event, as if it wasn't coming from the sun at all. Then came the breakthrough. As CERN's magnetic field cycled down between experiments, the signal changed. It began to mirror the collider's power fluctuations, responding to them in real time. Something out there was listening. For 11 minutes, the Large Hadron Collider became something it was never designed to be, a transmitter. And the reply came from the direction of 3i Atlas. Ground stations in Italy and France picked up a faint microwave burst originating from the same coordinates as the interstellar object. When the data was cleaned, analysts discovered a repeating numerical pattern prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, the universal fingerprint of intelligent encoding. Why would an object billions of kilometers away respond to an experiment on Earth? Some theorists propose that 3i Atlas is not just a comet, but a form of quantum probe, capable of coupling with electromagnetic fields across vast distances. Its internal heartbeat frequency 147 seconds, sits within the Schumann resonance harmonic range, the same natural frequency of Earth, ionosphere. In other words, when CERN activated its collider, 
it might have pinged a frequency that resonated with the object itself. James Webb's latest infrared maps even show micro-fluctuations around the object that look like energy feedback loops, as if it were absorbing and redirecting electromagnetic radiation. And here, where it gets even stranger, several satellites near Mars recorded reflected bursts of the same frequency less than an hour later, creating what scientists called a triangulated response cone. It wasn't random noise, it was a networked echo, like a conversation bouncing between worlds. After the event, CERN's official logs went offline for nearly six hours. When they came back, all public entries between 03, 00, and 05, 00 UTC had been archived under restricted access. But internal memos leaked to the European press suggested that the resonance data contained a three-dimensional waveform, one that, when rendered visually, formed the shape of a spiral lattice identical to the one traced by 3i Atlas's orbit. That's when astrophysicists from the University of Geneva stepped in, confirming that the collider's resonance pattern had been modulated from outside Earth, magnetosphere, meaning the response wasn't a reflection, it was a return signal. And in that waveform were faint but undeniable harmonic overtones, the same mathematical ratios that govern DNA helices. Not language, not code. Structure, life structure. The scientific community quickly split into two camps. Camp 1 believes 3I Atlas is a naturally active interstellar object, maybe a fragment of an ancient planet's core whose unusual emissions accidentally resonated with CERN's collider. Camp 2 argues something far more radical, that 3i Atlas is an engineered construct, a probe or messenger, and that its heartbeat frequency was designed to activate when encountering certain electromagnetic signatures, like those produced by a particle collider. Support for the second theory grew when data from the ALMA Observatory in Chile showed synchronized oscillations in submillimeter wavelengths, as if the object had locked onto Earth's transmissions. The signal wasn't just reacting, it was tracking. In October 2025, a multinational team of signal analysts decoded the return pattern from CERN's detectors. When translated into a visual spectrogram, the waveform displayed a sequence of repeating spirals and geometric lattices, all centered around a single mathematical constant, phi 1.618, the golden ratio. This ratio defines everything from galaxies to seashells to DNA. It's the signature of natural design or deliberate mimicry of it. If that sounds familiar, it's because the same ratio appeared in the light curve of 3i Atlas weeks earlier, when James Webb noticed its internal brightness oscillating in perfect golden spiral intervals. Two independent systems, one human-made, one interstellar, now echoing the same mathematical fingerprint. To some, that's coincidence. To others, it's contact. As the story spread, CERN released a short statement denying any extraterrestrial communication. But the timing raised eyebrows. Just hours before the announcement, the Atlas Detector Group, ironically sharing its name with the comet, had been placed under classified data protocols. Meanwhile, NASA's Deep Space Network quietly flagged 3i Atlas as a priority target of interest. New tracking models show the object's trajectory shifting, ever so slightly, toward the inner solar system again. If the data holds, 3i Atlas will pass closest to Earth by late 2026. And if it really is reacting to our experiments, that next encounter might not be a coincidence, it might be an appointment. Maybe the most extraordinary part of this story isn't the collider or the comet, it's what it says about us. For decades, we've looked outward, convinced the universe was silent and we were alone. But 3i Atlas has forced us to question that certainty, 
Whether it's a natural traveler or an intelligent construct, something out there responded to us, and that changes everything. Right now, scientists are cautious. CERN's data remains locked under review, and NASA's telescopes are still tracking the object's strange, shifting pulse. Some believe we triggered a resonance we barely understand. Others think this was the universe simply echoing itself back at us. But either way, one truth stands. We're no longer just watching the cosmos. The cosmos might be watching back. So what happens next? We keep listening. James Webb will continue monitoring 3i Atlas. The Rubin Observatory will scan for the next visitor. And beneath the Swiss Alps, the collider will run again, this time with every sensor waiting to see if the whisper returns. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss what happens next. Because when it comes to 3i Atlas, this story isn't over. It's only just beginning. Thanks for watching and as always, stay curious, stay awake and keep looking up.